Hello, I'm Ryan with Summit Hydraulics, and today we're going to be you doing a quick install on the, our 13 gallon per minute diverter valve. We're going to do this install on a CK2610. This machine was uh, donated to us today uh, for this video by our good friends over at Southwest Tractor and Equipment Sales. Uh, if you need any kind of tractors, trailers, implements, and more, please give them a look. Uh, there is a description in the link below uh, with a link to their website. So the main difference with the diverter valve uh, as opposed to the third function control valve is being that we are tying into the curl and the tilt cylinder to feed the diverter valve, we're still gonna be using the joystick on the loader valve to operate the diverter valve. You'll hit a button, a switch on the joystick, which engages the diverter valve, and then you will use the what was normally the curl and tilt function on the loader joystick itself would open and close the grapple because obviously we are diverting the fluid from the curl and tilt to be able to open and close the grapple. Now that is the main difference between the diverter valve, whereas the third function valve is a control valve and it's running in series with your curl, your tilt, your raise and your lower. So when you go to open and close the grapple, you are still able to use the curl and the tilt, the raise and the lower function, as well as open and close the grapple all at the same time. Now, another difference uh, between the control valve and the diverter valve is the control valve is gonna be on or off. There is no feathering the controls. When you hit that button and you start operating the, the grapple, it's going to be all the way open or all the way closed. So when you hit the button, it's gonna open very fast. When you hit the opposite button, it's gonna close very fast. A good advantage to the diverter valve is when you're using the loader joystick to operate the diverter valve, which in turn operates the grapple, you're able to just barely feather that loader joystick and that will allow you to open and close that grapple slow or as fast as you want. Okay, so I cannot stress again how important it is to make sure that when you are connecting your hoses uh, to the diverter valve and back out of the diverter valve to the cylinder, that they have to be mirrored exactly how they're connected to the diverter valve. So if we are removing this line on the base of the cylinder and we are going into P1 on the diverter valve, we come out of C1 on the diverter valve and go right back into this open port on the, the base of the cylinder. Uh, then you come out of the rod side of the cylinder, we go into P2, we come out of D and go directly to back into the rod side of the cylinder um, with hoses. Now, again, if you were to cross these up, it's going to jam your diverter valve and it will not function at all. So it is critical to have the hoses mirror each other how they're attaching. After you have P P1 going to the valve and uh, C1 going back to the, the base of the cylinder, and then you have P2 going to the valve, um, and then D going back to the rod side of the cylinder, you'll still have two open ports. These will be your work lines, A and B. These would get connected to the cylinder that runs your grapple. So there again, if we have P1 and C, going to the rod side of the cylinder, we will mirror that exactly the same when we're connecting to the grapple. So the cylinder on the grapple, um, you would have A, which would be A1 port going to the base of the cylinder, and then you would do the B port going to the rod side of the cylinder. That way all the hoses are matched up exactly how we connected it to the curl and the tilt function. Even if we connected A and B to opposing sides and we cross them, that would cause this valve to jam as well. So very critical to make sure that you have your hoses mirroring each other in the way that, uh, that we're hooking this up. So up there again, uh, P1, A and C, all to the base side of each cylinder, uh, P2, B and D, all to rod side of cylinder on all three on all three ports. So we do offer two different kind of mounting options for these. Uh, this particular mount is a raised plate with a flat plate uh, behind it, but it basically just clamps on wherever you're comfortable. I mean, if you would like to have it on the loader arm itself over here, 
you could put the, the flat plate behind and then the raised plate in front. And that basically just clamps right onto that bar there. Um, another place that looks like it would fit would be somewhere right in here. You could put it here, but it's basically, because it's a universal kit, it's going to be wherever you're comfortable clamping this to. So you could certainly, uh, you know, make your own bracket if you wanted to, but we do have a couple different options um, in case you don't want to bother with trying to fabricate something on your own. Okay, so this is our other bracket that we carry. Um, this is just a rod going through each side of the diverter valve, and then it has this metal clip that would clip onto uh, the loader arm itself. Uh, you can see it has a groove cut in it, there is a groove on each one of these that would typically get fastened to the loader arm itself or wherever you could find a good place. Now, this isn't the correct size for this particular machine. So, you know, in this case, we would want to go with the uh, the raised plate that I was showing you earlier in the video. But um, this is just another option. Uh, a lot of the John, John Deere machines, this would work great on. But for the Coyote, the way that their loader arm is designed, it really doesn't fit on it very well. Uh, but just uh, just another option that you can use. And both of these are available on our website. So if you do purchase the Universal Kit, it does not come with either of these brackets. But if you check out the listing uh, towards the bottom of the listing on the website, both of these brackets can be found on the listing of the diverter valve kits. So if you do want to decide to go with the flat and raised plate version, uh, that is available as well as this two bar setup. So this is the joystick that comes with the diverter valve setup. Uh, of course, when you hit this trigger right here is when you are engaging the diverter to open and close the grapple. Uh, it does have a bushing down here that will attach it to the lever for the loader valve joystick. We have several different options, several different threads. If you are looking at the listing, there's a drop down box where you can select which bushing that you need. Uh, if you notice that we do not have the correct thread listed for your particular machine, there is a quarter inch tappable version of this bushing that just has a quarter inch countersunk hole in it. And if you need to drill it out or thread it to your specific thread that comes on your handle for your joystick, you are able to do that as well. This 13 gallon per minute universal diverter valve is another great option if you're wanting to use a grapple on your machine or another type of implement. Um, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, we do have a vlog on our website that is very helpful. There's a link in the description below for that. If you have any questions or concerns, you can also chat or give us a call.